This is a demo of a SOA or service-oriented architecture application which is running on Windows um, HPC 2008 server as we can see here. Um, let me start the HPC cluster manager. As you can see, HPC Server 2008. This gives us um, the view because we want to see what the compute nodes are actually doing. You see a list here of compute nodes, and the head node is the broker node. I switch to the heat map. Right now, I have selected to show the CPU usage, and I'm interested as well to see how many cores are in use, so I add that to the heat map and this will be our second readout. The application that I'm using is based on a service called the Price Asian Option Service, and it has two loops. The first one is the runs loop, and the second loop that runs inside is periods. i show you in a second what that means. Then in here is the calculation that is performed, and the price is being returned. So this is the application, and we will run this here on the cluster. It could run in synchronous or asynchronous mode as well, which I can select here, but right now we're only looking to invoke it on the cluster. So I set parameters here, and I set the periods to 200 and the runs to 1 million. What that means is that the runs, the outer loop from here to here will be running 1 million times, and the inner loop will be running 200 times. So a total of 200 million calculations, Monte Carlo calculations, for each and every cell. This grid here contains 100 cells, so there will be a total of 20 billion calculations. Let me uh, bring up again the cluster head so we can see what is happening there. The application is on top, and now I'm starting the application. We will see that the broker node schedules out the work, and here you see the CPU load on each and every one of the nodes, and you see all of them used for cores. They are right now the CPU is being used to 100% on each of those nodes. Pretty soon we should start, here they come. The results are coming in as they are returned in the callback function, and then populate each and every um, cell in the grid. Uh, when I perform the same application using the asynchronous or synchronous mode on the host, these calculations take about 21 minutes to complete. And we will see here in a few, you already see that the load on the CPU is dropping, so the job is almost done here. The final results are being returned and populated into the cells, and here we see 49.63 and something seconds for the whole operation that otherwise in synchronous or asynchronous mode on a typical computer would take at least 21 minutes to perform.